what got us into the shoe business. My first memory as a child was being propped up in the front window on 50th Street. We had these little square wood windows and uh, yeah, I, I think that was my daycare for probably a few years. Um, but I don't know about you, Nick. I don't know. I just always had retail in my blood. Like one of our, one of my other first memories was seeing my dad get yelled at from somebody that uh, he died. It was wedding shoes, the diable wedding shoes. And uh, I was there after school one day and it was a, a wedding party and the father of the, the bride was in and it was a periwinkle blue. He died, I think 10 pairs of shoes and couldn't have told, couldn't, couldn't tell a difference whatsoever. And this guy wasn't having it, blew up. Pops had to kick him out of the shop, threatened to call the police. It was one of those uh, interesting times. I might've been like six or seven, but didn't forget that. Ever since then, I've loved the concept of interacting with people. He wanted to get yelled at. Yeah, something, I don't know. But uh, yeah, you know, going through school, it's always been a, always been an interest of, of solving problems. And as for me, yeah, as uh, like Tony said, we kind of grew up in the, the family business per se. Uh, we were never forced into it or anything like that. Uh, but if we ever needed anything, it was like, all right, sweep up the back shop. So there's always a little things to do. It kind of was in our blood um, growing up, you know, from at an early age, five, six years old, um, all the way through high school and to college. And, um, you know, here we are uh, 33 years later, so. Yeah, it, it, you know, it's kind of interesting. It's, it's almost like as, as a youth, it was a means to an end. You know, like I wanted a new mountain bike or we played hockey and you had to get new sticks or something. Gotta work like, for it. Gotta work for it. So definitely an entrepreneurial environment that uh, we're grateful to be uh, a part of, so. Yeah.